Hello YouTube, I'm working on a robot hand and today I'm going to show you the wrist mechanism. We have two degrees of freedom, we have yaw and pitch. This is a differential joint driven by entirely by cables. Instead of the bevel gears we have just two freely moving spindles that I looped some wire through. To clarify this, let me bring out the prototype version because it has the wires on the outside. For each side of the spindle, there is a pair of wires. One goes on the bottom, goes around the spindle, then goes over the guiding bearing and ties on the top spindle. The other wire goes over the top, loops around all the way, and then goes over this other guiding bearing, loops around the top spindle and ties on this other side. For the yaw motion, the spindles need to rotate in opposite directions. While for a pitching motion, both spindles need to rotate in the same direction. As you see from the markings I, I put on the spindles, this is pitch. These wires pull both spindles towards the forearm. And for yaw, one wire pulls this spindle to spin it this way and the other one spins it the other way. Let's pull the lid off so we can see how the wires flow into the forearm and how they connect to the motors. We've opened up the lid. Now these wires pass through channels molded into the case and tie directly to the motors on spindles underneath these gears. For the fingers, I'm using the same motors. However, for the wrist, I wanted more power. So I've, I'm using twice as many. The gears have a double purpose, letting me tension the mechanism. I've decided so they can slide off. And on assembly, I will partially slide on the gear and turn it until the other gear moves because of the wire and then completely slide it down. As you see, I removed all the slack from the system. So I wired up the wrist motors on this breadboard. Eventually I'll design a circuit to control the hand and measure the currents that I'm using. But for now, this makeshift bundle of wires will do. In this test, we're gonna be lifting a precisely one kilogram bottle of water and we're gonna be using five amps to lift it up let me tie the water bottle on the hand and then we can try lifting it up. Alright, I've placed the water bottle on the hand. So let's try a quick lift at 5 amps. As you saw, we can actively lift the 1 kilogram weight at 5 amps. However, on this flimsy setup, that will melt the wire in seconds. Instead, we can make use of friction for our benefit and we can passively hold the bottle up using just one and a half amps so let's try that out and start holding it it's not enough to lift it so we will have to manually lift it but it is now enough to hold it up and as you'll see the moment i release the current the hand will drop on its own weight let's try lifting it a couple of times at five amps Thank you for watching. On the next video, I'll assemble the fingers and show you how everything ties together on the Hex Mega Hand.